Nope, I don't want to see. I want to hear that. All right, guys. I don't know what happened a few minutes ago. Yeah, I don't know what happened a few minutes ago, but. Hopefully, this gets me back. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But I ended the stream and then started a new one. Let's see what happens. Let's see if anyone decides to come back in. Zach Greer, what's going on, Zach? I don't, hey, I don't know what happened a few minutes ago. It was a disconnection. I was disconnected. And, uh, I didn't even read it. Then I looked up and saw there was no one. There was no one in here, and I was like, well, I guess everybody just took off for a little bit. And then I saw there was some technical problems, and that went on into halftime. And uh, I thought I thought it was back up, but it wasn't. So. Uh, I've actually been talking to, I don't know who I've been talking to, but uh, we're back now. I just restarted things, so welcome back. There's still 11 minutes and 30 seconds in this one. Now let's see if we can um, finish this out on a good note. All right, here we go. Florida State takes the three, misses. Love with the rebound, comes down. The score is 44-88 with 10 minutes and 56 seconds. Turnover by Carolina. Another three by Florida State. This one's off the mark. Number 30, the big man with the rebound, gets it back up top to number one. He goes to the left side. Ooh, gets it to Nam. And gone. Slams that one all by itself. 46 to 80. No matter what, Carolina, we still, they still need to keep playing hard, uh, stay under control. Styles getting more playing time today. He gets that to Baycott, then he cuts to the basket. Baycott throws it away again. Lead pass up. Another layup. Left hand layup from Florida State. And the young man is fouled. Let's go, Carolina. We can't get can't get sloppy. Lakers and Warriors play tonight, but I'll be checking out uh, the Hornets and the Grizzlies. See if my Hornets can get yet another win. So I was saying, uh, was that one of the running backs? Yeah, Mars Hill. I mean, uh. Maurice Harris was the running back I was checking out. I just went down and looked at the list of, you know, uh, running backs, and uh, I saw, I saw him. And I, like I said, I, I think I saw one fullback, you know, because everybody's in the spread offense now. Nobody uses a, really uses a fullback. Now I think after that I saw about four, four running backs. Like, dang, they need more than four running backs, but, you know, that's what's up. I hope you guys win tonight. Styles, Styles gets in there and gets a, a a dunk. I didn't see it, so I'm getting ready to rewind this. And another dunk by Florida State. Well, behind the back dribble at half court by Love. He gets it across. Kerwin gets it to Manic. Back to Love. Love dribbling. Throws it up, throws it away. Fletcher with the rebound. Comes out, gets a 31. Skip pass, wide open shot. Off the mark. Ingom 
Got that rebound from Florida State. He goes back up and he's fouled on the play. The score is 50 to 82. Good cut by Styles. In gone, misses the first. There's nine minutes and 20 seconds left. Uh, Florida State, if you just look at the law of numbers, the law of numbers, percentages, and time, if Carolina can get to 100 before Florida State gets to 75. <laughs> We should definitely win this one. Styles drives for Carolina. He's five on the play. I'm telling you, I like Styles. Uh, the, it was two games ago I saw him. Coach finally put him in. I think he might have been injured, but Coach got him some playing time. I just like, I mean, he's got the nice size, he's got the, the speed, the length, aggressiveness. Looks like Styles. No, Styles is still in there. Puff Johnson comes in also. Yeah, what's up, Jake? Styles for three. I still like Styles' release and everything. Yeah, uh, Jake. Hey, I just met you, but I'm, I'm just going to tell you. I hope I hope the Hornets beat you guys by 25 points tonight. And I say that because, <laughs> no, I say that because the Hornets are my, my, uh, my team. But uh, still by love, he takes off and he gets too fancy. I could see he was losing that. And he misses the dunk. And Florida State gets a three out of it by Fletcher. Yeah, we need a game like this to get our bench. Yeah, we really, really do, all right. Really do. Man, Kayla Love. <laughs> Boy, he, he shoots a three to make up for it. And he hits the three. He did something like that last game. I forgot what he did. Uh, missed something or turned the ball over. It was so easy or something like that. And then he came back and got a three. Everybody forgot about it. He tried to do a little showtime right there. Missed that, that dunk, though. But, yeah, Jake, uh, we did beat the Pistons, though. Yeah. And we beat the Pistons last night, so now we got you guys in Charlotte. Yeah, well, you're going, you're going to. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, the way we've been playing up until last night, <clears throat> and again, I will say that was the Pistons. So, and the Pistons are in last place in the East. And uh, but uh, yeah, the way we've been playing, and with uh, with with your your team with Ja. Morant and and uh and 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 crew. It could be a loss, but um I'm hoping we come out and we shoot the ball like we did last night because my team, the Hornets, the Hornets are a three point shooting team. That that's what we that's what we do. I mean that that's just what we do. And if we're hitting the outside shot, like I said earlier today, I think I was talking to uh Michael Smithy, uh if we hit our outside shot, especially our three, because that's what we shoot. We don't shoot anything but threes. Seldom do you see the Hornets shoot a short, short jumper. Uh, we hard to beat. We're hard to beat. But if we're off, we're not hitting, or we don't at least have one guy on. Yeah, you guys might take it. But uh, we made a we made a trade and got Montrez Harrell. He looked good last night. I think he had like twenty one points. He plays center, not really a, 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 a what you call the uh, 
the model big man because he's only six seven. Heck, Miles, uh, not Miles, but uh, uh, PJ Washington is taller than he is at six eight. But he has a seven foot wingspan and he likes to play under the basket. So maybe eventually we can get some plays, some 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 uh, post plays, and uh, the Hornets can mix things up. And we've been, everybody's been saying we need a big man. You know, at least somebody that can play down low. So we'll we'll see what happens tonight. We see we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, I guess we could talk about it a little bit tomorrow if you if you stop by, because I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing something for the Super Bowl. And don't judge me, but I'm a Rams fan. I actually actually wearing their hoodie today. Hey, I. I'm not judging anybody. I can't judge anybody because my NFL team is the Panth are the Panthers, right? And the Panthers have been sitting at home for a month already. Heck, the way we played this year, we could have sat at we could have been sitting at home for two months and nobody would even recognize. You know, we oh, we lose, lose uh, we lost the last was it six seven games, lost the last seven games or something like that, last six games. So, no, I'm not judging anybody. However, however, I always go for the underdog unless you're playing my squad. So, I've got to go for the Bengals. The Bengals have been through a, a very, very long drought. So, it's about time for them to get, get some, uh, some positivity in that organization. Man, Wake Forest. Yeah, I'm a, I think I'm a. I think yeah, I look at the rest of that Wake Forest game. And once again, Wake Forest is not my team, but they've been an underdog too in the ACC for such a long time. I'm glad to see those guys playing. Uh, I hate they they embarrassed us when we played them, but we get to play them again. Carolina swinging the ball against that zone is, is deflected. Now, with 10 seconds to shoot, Davis has the ball on the right side. He shoots a three off the mark, rebounded Florida State. And Cleveland finishes at the rim for Florida State. Florida State has amassed 56 points. There's seven minutes and five seconds left. Davis gets that ball across court to Pub Johnson. He does a crossover dribble when I get to the Manic. Manic shoots the three. Hadn't shot many today. Rebound, Florida State. That's Butler. He gets the ball to Fletcher. No look pass. Excuse me. That wasn't Fletcher. Fletcher actually made the pass down to number 35. That's Cleveland, and Cleveland is fouled on the play. It's really down here for Florida State. Yeah, Ray, uh, but like I said, I thought when I saw them play at the beginning of the year, I was like, they're, they're pretty darn decent. Look at B-Dot in the house. Uh, they were pretty good, but, like, they've had several injuries. So that's what that's what's really happened to them. Because uh, Leonard Hamilton had him playing pretty decent there at the beginning of the year. All right, Carolina trying to fight against that zone. Styles shoots. He's he's just off a little bit. I think Styles just needs a little bit more playing time. I like everything about his game. Uh, Cleveland drives again for Florida State, and he scores. Cleveland, I mean, uh, Florida State chipping away at this, this game here. Chipping away at the score. Uh, Baycock is not in the game. Manic has the ball at the top. Top of the key. Gets it to Puff Johnson. Now back up top. Puff Johnson takes a three. Left-handed shot. Off the mark. Brady Manic tips it in. So Carolina continues to score just enough. Evans drives for Florida State. And that goes in. With Baycock out. Nobody to uh, protect the basket. 
Manic brings it down. Skip passes that to Davis. Now they get it to Curran Walton in the corner. Back to uh, Puff. Now Davis takes the three. Davis off the mark. Carolina's three-point shooting, not like it was before halftime. And Florida State has a unforced, unforced turnover. So who are you going for? Yeah, Jake, you heard me. I'm going for uh, I'm going for the Bengals. Or maybe I I I, I talked so much I never said it. I'm going for the Bengals. All right, the score is 60 to 87. Uh, five minutes left. Stranger things have happened. Coach don't have doesn't have all the starters out there. Uh, Styles shoots, misses a three. 27 uh, point lead. It was as much as 39 and 35 a few minutes ago. I mean, yeah, a few possessions ago. Now Florida State able to get the ball down low. Ingom in there. Uh, Love, Baycock, both on the bench. Ingom hits his first. It's 61 to 87. Carolina still in the lead. Finn Matthews, what's going on? I'm so mad. My timber was we lost yesterday. How is that possible? And we play. And we play the Hornets on the 15th. Have a bad feeling about that. Well, I'm a Hornet, so you know. I, I hope. I hope your feelings, your 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 intuition, is is dead on, because the Hornets need to win. They need that win. Uh, I really don't want to be in that play-in game, but the East is so so uh, compacted there that uh, we may have to try to play in again. But yeah, the Timberwolves haven't been playing bad, but uh, yeah, uh, my Hornets need this win, Finn. And you guys have a game tomorrow. For all the state still fighting, 62-87. A tip is missed by Butler. Puff Johnson gets that rebound to McCoy. McCoy skip pass over to to Dunn. Walton drives. He gets it over to uh, McCoy. Walton shoots a three. Good. Carolina still scoring. Like I said, just keeping an outstretched arm, or what do you call it, the uh, stiff arm on Florida State. Nam gets the ball. He loses it. Shoots it up again. Misses it. Rebound this time. Styles. Styles comes out of there with it. Going up the right side. That pass is deflected out of bounds. Still Carolina's ball. And we have a break in the action. Yeah, my uh, my pan my uh, not my Panthers, but my Tar Heel, my Hornets. My Hornets have gone through a. Uh, it was like a six-game losing streak, man. You know, before that, we were on like a five, a four, a five-game uh, winning streak, and then uh, we played the we played the the, the Pistons uh, and scored uh, like one fifty something on them. Broke a, a, a team record. Kelly Oubre shot dang eight. What is it? Seven or eight free? I meant threes. Uh, and and everybody was just it was just infectious. Everybody was hitting hitting shots. And then the next game, we we lay an egg. I think we might have scored ninety points. Uh, got beat to death. Then the next game, then the next game, you know. Then we were like, okay, now oh, then then all the trade rumors come up again. You know, like we got to get rid of somebody because now when we're playing good. Everybody's like, hey, we're good. Let's keep let's just keep keep what we got. But anyway. Uh, we ended up playing, ironically, the Pistons again last night. 
and then scored 140 some points in Detroit. All right, our outside shooting came back last night. I think Lamelo had seven threes himself, 31 points or something like that. Uh, uh, not to mention we uh, traded and got Montrez Harrell, and he had like 20 some points a game. I mean, last night, uh, more scoring in the paint. Uh, my boy uh, Plumley, Plumley gets rebounds. Uh, but the thing I and, and Plumley works hard for us. But the thing I hate about Plumley is he'll get the ball and he'll be under the basket. I and you guys may think I'm exaggerating, but under the basket, and he passes it out to the three point line. Like, let's get some points in the paint, some too, bro. You know, so uh, I think I saw him one time last night get the ball and try to back somebody down and go to the basket. But hey, if uh, you know, it, it, he's starter right now. But if he continues, I can see Montrez Harrell being put in that starting role and then Plumley coming off the bench. You know, it, it all depends on what he wants. And then, and then Montrez does something I really love for a big man and that's get the ball get a rebound and give it to a guard all right my boy Plumley wants to get the ball and and like i don't know when's the last time i seen Plumley hand the ball to a, a a guard actually i saw him one time at the end of the end of the game last night in the second half and the reason he done that was because he, he usually gets it and just takes off up the court and i always anticipate the worst when he does that because he's not a guard and last night he did that, and somebody stole it from him. Right there, as soon as he took one dribble. So, that's one thing that Montrez Harrell doesn't try to do. I don't know why Plumley does it. He, he doesn't. It's not like he comes down and makes, like, great passes. He comes down, and then he has to stop at the, at the top and hand it to a guard anyway. Give it to a guard. Get down the court. They'll get it back to you. He ain't leaving no fast break. I don't know. And I can't blame him. I can't blame him 100% because you got coaches out there, and the coaches let them do it. All right, Carolina has the ball. They get it in deep in the, the right corner. That's done. Done. A lot of dribbling. Finally get that pass to Walton. Walton gets it over here to Styles. Styles drives with the left hand, and he finishes at the rim with a dunk. Matt, what's going on? Uh, I'm at Kamilo's house with Andrew, and he had uh, made us some tacos. Andrew, Andrew's always hooking people's up, people up with with food. And we're watching the movie. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All you guys going to the football game tonight, I guess, I presume. Florida State still playing. Another three-point shot. The score is now 65 to 92. Carolina has all bench players on the floor right now. Walton, uh, you could call these guys a second string. Uh, that'll be Walton, Styles, Dunn, McCoy, and Puff Johnson. Bounce pass to McCoy. McCoy gets it out of the corner to Styles. Nice little style points for Styles under the basket. He misses the reverse layup, but uh, it's put back by Puff Johnson. Yeah, you guys go out there and uh, and uh, cheer for Zach. Four seconds left on the clock, 68 94. 
Wide open three by Fletcher. Off the mark. Rebound, though. Cleveland, he throws it up, misses it. But he's fouled on the play. So Florida State scores. Uh, most of their points here in the second half. I hear you. And so now Carolina with a minute and 13 seconds on the clock. They bring in the rest. The rest of the Tar Heel bench. I think they call them Blue Steel. Cleveland for Florida State hits both 70 to 94. The the guys off the bench will have a chance to, to hit maybe one shot, and it doesn't look like they're going to do that. They just turned it over. Jeff Lebo's son, I think that was a bad pass from him. There is a uh, still knocks it out of bounds. Still FSU's ball. Seminoles have the ball. They dribble over to the left side. Now cross court to Fletcher. Fletcher drives. He's been their offense all day. Misses the layup. But there's a foul on the play. The actual score right here, 70 to 94. Yeah, like they're 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 saying it right now. Uh, Leonard Hamilton had this team looking good before all the injuries. You know, Miami, you know, remember Miami had been number one in Florida State. I think he said beat those guys twice, and they were fighting for the first first place, and then then all the uh, the injuries occurred. Forty seconds on the clock. McAdoo for Carolina has the ball, gets it in the corner to Lebo. Lebo, another bad pass. <clears throat> And Cleveland, left-hand layup for Florida State. They get it in quick. 30 seconds. It still won't look bad if they shoot this one. Lebo loses it again. Fletcher with another layup. They give it back. They don't give it to Lebo this time. Swing pass to McAdoo. Will they take another shot? 14 seconds. Lebo misses it. McAdoo. Kicks it out, another three-point shot. Off the mark. And this doesn't look like the uh, second team or the bench guys are going to get any points right now. Uh, but Carolina does hang on to win. 74-94. 20-point lead. It was as much as uh, 39 points. And Coach started taking some of his starters out real early in this game. And once again, Carolina wins, but, you know, our crowd, you know, we win. Nobody really goes crazy, which, I, I you know, hey, it was, it's Florida State. And, uh, Florida State's going through something. But anyway, yo, stand up and cheer for your guys, you know. Let's go and uh, – have a little fight song sung or something, you know. But uh, regardless, we won in our wine and treat cheese crowd. Good job. Good job, gentlemen. Good job. <laughs> cheerio, cheerio. Yeah, we won, man. We won. We Like uh, Ray said, we needed this win. Needed this win so some of those young guys could get out there, like Dunn and uh, Styles. And actually, Coach, he brought Styles off the off the uh, bench really early, really early in the first, and I, I really love that, man. Because uh, I think Styles is going to get in the – Styles, to me, has everything. He has the size, the length, the quickness, speed. He plays defense well. Uh, his shot, shot's not there. 
how he wants it right now, his little jump shot, but uh, I think that'll come with more time. 18 and 7, Pitt is next. Yep. Hey, they got to come to the Dean Dome, so. Let's go. Let's go, Carolina. Hey, hey. We needed these. We needed these last two wins. Needed these last two wins. Great first half. Yet yeah, set the tone. Uh, man, it'll be great for us to to be able to do that every game. Just get out to a lead. I remember those days. Carolina used to come out and just like dominate the dominate their uh, their opponent right at the beginning of the game. Glaive. I knew. I knew it. My home team lost. <laughs> what is Florida State doing? Hey, Gabe, hey, the, in your defense, Florida State, Leonard Hamilton, remember at the beginning of the year, that team was looking really good. I mean, they were they were fighting for first place there one time, you know, when Miami was at the top. But they y'all got so many injuries, man, like for starters, two starters in, in injuries. And then y'all lost Mills today. Uh, I think Carolina would have. I'm pretty sure Carolina won. Would have won anyway. But you lost Mills, who was your top leading scorer today. So, hey, you got you got to put that into the equation too. But yeah, Michael, I plan to do that, man. Am I? Hey, I, I check you out, man. I'm sorry to. Uh, I lost. Connection. I don't know what that was, um, and uh, if I had caught it earlier, I could have probably fixed it earlier. But uh, yeah, I appreciate, man. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. In fact, I appreciate all you guys, even my newcomers, guys. Before you leave, because I'm getting ready to go over the stats, and then I'm gonna get out of here. But before you leave, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button and. Subscribe. It's completely free. All it takes is a little click, click, click. All right. Uh, Florida State scoring Butler nine points. Ingham had eight. Cleveland and Evans both had 13 off the bench. Fredo with three. Warley with seven. Fletcher with 16 to lead everyone uh, for Florida State. And then five for Wilkes. For Baycock, uh, Carolina Baycock, 17. Uh, Manic and Davis both have 16. Love had 18 points today. Uh, Leaky Black had five points. Baycock, 14 rebounds. Great job there, big man. Uh, off the bench, Puff Johnson had five points. Styles, 40 and eight. And Kerwin Walton had nine points. It is imperative that those guys start to get playing time and, and get out there and, and uh, and give us some output, man, because that, that's going to help us. I think that's going to help us down the way there. Here are the team stats. Uh, Florida State did not shoot well. Well, you know, their average would have been a lot better, but that first half right there is what messed them up. Uh, Florida State only scored 24 points in the first half. Ended up scoring 50 points in the second half. Actually outscored Carolina by 18 points. Wow. Carolina just got that that long, that big lead there in the first half. Plus, uh, the coach Coach Davis went ahead and took out some of his starters with a good healthy amount of time left on the clock. Um, three point shooting. Carolina shot pretty well today. Florida State actually had a better percentage though. Nine for 19, Carolina, 12 for eight for 28. Could not miss at, in the first half. Uh, 
There's your free throws right there. Neither team shot great. Like I said, 85%. You got to shoot 85% as a team in free throws. Carolina out rebounded uh, Florida State by six. Uh, turnovers. Way too many turnovers for both teams. Carolina uh, won the game by 20, but had 16 turnovers. You can't do that, man. Uh, and and this didn't all come from the uh, the bench that that got put in there. We turned the ball over. Uh, uh, some of our starters turned the ball over. All right, the largest league with 40. And ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up. Make sure you guys. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow, Coach Gary. Excuse me, myself, Coach Gary. I will be doing something for the uh, for the Super Bowl. Check me out. Um, uh, Carolina's next game against Pitt. I'll be streaming that. I plan on streaming that, so come and check me out there. And um, guys, once again, make sure you hit that like button before you leave. And Coach Gary. We'll be checking you guys out next time. All right, Jake. Take it easy. Yeah, we, uh, we'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> Good luck, Grizzlies. Michael Smitty, as always. Glaze, thanks for stopping by. Matt Sato, thanks for stopping by, Matt. And welcome, Finn. Ray, thanks for stopping by there, big man. Zach Greer, thanks for coming back by, dude. And everybody else lost half of the chat there earlier, but uh, thank you for the guys that swung back by. I appreciate that, Mike. Thanks, man. Trying to spruce it up uh, every time. Well, in the in the off season, we're gonna try to spruce this thing up, make it even bigger and better next year. But yeah, hey, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.